Hey, what's up everybody? If you guys have been following along, you guys know that I just put a Overland Kitchen setup in my uh, Forerunner. And uh, what I'm going to be needing to do is to tie this thing down. So I, I took it out before on a, a quick trip. I didn't really off-road that much, so I didn't tie it down. But now I have the time to prep uh, the straps and I'm going to go ahead and uh, tie them down the right way. So I started off having these tiny ratchet straps here but they've been a pain and these extra buckles are, are pretty wide for my usage. So uh, my buddy recommended these Cartman one by 12 uh, feet uh, straps. They hold up to 600 pounds, so it's perfect for um, strapping anything down, especially a heavy fridge like this. You don't want this to be moving while you're on the trail um, or anything like that. Uh, for example, I flipped my vehicle almost two years ago now and um, you know it's really important that you strap everything down because everything definitely moves when god forbid something happens as far as like an accident or such so uh, strap everything down i'll put a link below these were about 15 bucks for six of them so that's a really good price um, i'm gonna go ahead and install these into these uh, strap handles so i'm gonna remove these and i'm gonna be using these um, brackets from the fridge strapping them down right here. So let's get started. So a quick comparison, these are both one inch straps. The buckle on these are so much more uh, lower in profile than these buckles. So take a look at that. So. Definitely these ones from Amazon are already a lot thicker. Just press down the lever. Wow, these are super easy to use, and it is uh, it is really strong. Now we'll repeat this process for the front. Now I'm going to go ahead and measure about 6 inches, leaving a little bit of extra room so that we can pull and tighten it, and just go ahead and cut. I take a lighter and burn off the ends to stop the nylon from fraying. And there you go, the lashing straps are installed. The ends are burned, it's nice and tight. Again, it's rated up to 600 pounds, so it should hold all your goods in there. I'm gonna go ahead and test it out, but so far I like it. It's a lot more low profile than having the ratchet straps. It's a lot lighter in weight and uh, footprint. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video.